Um, cucumber is excellent for not putting on too much fat as well, because obviously, as it's is it it's a green green as well. It's a greens. It's full of water. <laughs> Maria here from Carter Fitness and Nutrition. Today I will be going over um, foods that you can eat without making you fat. Right, on the list first we'll be going over spinach. Spinach is a good option because it is a water based vegetable that no matter how much you eat it in your meals, if you have a whole bunch of it, or if you have a small amount, it's never going to make you fat, no matter how much you have. It's like broccoli, that's not going to make you fat either. Second on the list is fruits. Um, so a good example of fruits are grapes, um, grapefruits, and there are a few others, but fruits are a good, um, good thing to, that won't, make you put on fat because of the ox no the antioxidants that it provides your body um and how it helps with the nutrients in your body and third on the list is greek yogurt um greek yogurt is a really good option when it comes to wanting to have that maximum protein intake and it's just right if you don't want to put on those extra piles of fat because it helps you stay that much fuller for just a bit longer. Um, number four um, is peppers, celery and lettuce. These three um, are all separate on their own but no matter how much you have these vegetables because like I said with spinach and broccoli those two those two you can have them like a lot of them and it won't put fat on you same as these three I've just mentioned because they contain quite a bit of water as well so because the body has a lot of water you're going to benefit with that as well the next one is egg whites um so basically that just helps with your protein intake and it just makes you a bit more fuller i forgot to mention this with the other vegetables but you've got kale here which also is another green vegetable it's kind of similar as spinach but um, it contains a bit of water but unlike spinach it's not over the top of water but that can also help with um, you not putting on so much fat mm. you've got shrimp as well that is a good option because unlike most fish shrimp and barsa are one of one of those types of fish that are not really high in uh, mercury and um, stuff like that that will make you gain um, fat. Cottage cheese. Um, the reason why cottage cheese is really good to help you not put on too much fat is because it will help you Obviously, if you're lactose intolerant, that isn't really a good option, but cottage cheese is excellent for protein, your protein intake, plus it can help you be quite full and satiated for longer. 
Um, cucumber is excellent for not putting on too much fat as well, because obviously, as it's is it it's a gro green as well. It's a greens. It's full of water as well, so that can help with um, water intake in the body as well. If you have it a big voluminous amount of it, it can help help you of not getting fat at all. Mustard is the next one. And you might ask, why mustard? And I will mention mustard because mustard is very low in calories. It doesn't matter um, if you go for a mustard flavoured syrup or a mustard jar. It's going to be low in calories unless you get one that's higher in calories, obviously. But mustard is generally ideal for losing fat. And if you want um, a recommendation, I do recommend um, cauliflower rice um, helping with, as a food, to not gain fat because it is a, it is a lower calorie option to normal rice. It is a substitute to normal rice. It's um, Normal rice is more voluminous in the density, but when you have cauliflower rice, it's more thinner, so you can have more foods if you wanted to, but not as fat. Popcorn is the next one. Popcorn is an excellent option if you don't want to put on those extra fat cells. It's because it's very fibrous, which means it will help you be fuller for longer and that means 350 calories is per 100 grams of popcorn but I would recommend you to make this at home like if you were to go to a health shop and buy um, some popping kernels like a packet of popping kernels I'd recommend make that at home instead of going out to the shop and just buying just a random packet of salted and sweet high in sugar popcorn because that's not going to do your body any good that's just going to increase the fat even more but if you make it at home you're benefiting your body which is going to help not put on the fat next option is sugar free jellies why am I mentioning this? because unlike full sugary jellies, sugar free jellies are very voluminous jellies that allow you to stay satiated and fuller for a much longer period of time. Chicken breast is a good option because it obviously it makes you full but I wouldn't say it makes you overly full for too long. Um, depends how much you have of it but obviously because it's a meat it will provide you with your maximum protein intake depending on how much you have in the day. Thank you and that wraps up the video for now. If you have any questions about um, any further videos you would like to see in the future please comment below. If you like this video please let us know and could you please like and subscribe and um, press the bell icon for more videos. Thank you. Thank <music> you.